Hello everyone, I recently picked up my new HP NV 17T Touch laptop. This is the new model that comes with the 7th generation Intel i7. And I almost didn't get this because it only came with a 1 terabyte hard drive, didn't come with an SSD, and the battery was only the 41 watt hour, and uh, there's a uh, 66 watt hour that some of the other HP versions of this had. Um, but I picked it up, I was like, oh, I'll just uh, install those myself because I've had other HPs like the, this old one where you could just. Uh, you know, change out the battery, and there's you know an easy access panel where you got all your 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 hard drives and your memory and all that stuff in there. So I was like, oh, I'll just uh, bring it home and put in an SSD and call it a day. But when I got home and took a look at it, here's what I found. Uh, they're not making this as easy as some of the old versions older HP laptops to get to. So in this video I am going to show you what you need to do to uh, change that out and you can also uh, once you have this off of there you can uh, change out the battery, upgrade your memory um, and uh, swap out your hard disk for an SSD. So uh, let me show you how it's done. What you're going to need to do this is you need something like this and this is a uh, it's just a uh, toolkit that I got for uh, working on smartphones, opening them up, and um, basically what it has is a whole bunch of different drivers and a screwdriver to hold the, the bits. And it has these little plastic, uh, they're used to pry some of the, uh, the components apart without damaging them. So. I would recommend picking up one of these. Uh, this model uses the T5 bit. That's a, a star-shaped Torx bit, and also uses a uh, Phillips head, a smaller one for some of the screws too. So I would recommend at least getting the the T5 bit and a small Phillips and flat head, and something to pry the. Uh, the case open without damaging it. Something like this. I've heard some people use guitar picks and stuff like that, but this wasn't very expensive, so just pick one of these up. You'll you won't regret it. So first thing you need to do is you need to remove one of the rubber feet at the bottom. Now with the DVD drive on the right hand side, you're gonna want to remove the top rubber foot. I've already pulled it off and what you need to do is using your flathead screwdriver you want to gently work your way underneath it and then you're going to kind of work your way and start peeling it off the adhesive pad underneath until the whole thing's off. You're still going to have the adhesive pad, pad stuck to the plastic at that point and what I did to get that off is there was a gap right here under the screw so I was able to work my way underneath and kind of pull it up and then I peel it off until I got to this side and then I was able to grab the adhesive and gently remove it without tearing anything. The rubber is brittle and so is the adhesive pad so if you don't want to have to uh, replace the rubber pad I would just be really careful with it. You can uh, if you do damage it uh, you can order another one through HP but I'm sure they are not cheap. So once you have the, the uh, rubber foot off, there's three screws underneath that are going to have a Phillips head on it. Remove those, and there's seven more screws that are going to use the T5 Torx bit. There's four on the top area, and then four at the bottom. So I guess that's eight more. So 11 screws total. So once you have all these screws removed, what you want to do is use your uh, prior, again with the uh, DVD on the right hand side, find this hinge and then right here 
you'll notice a gap in between the uh, the uh, two pieces. I guess it's part of it's metal, parts of the bottom part's plastic. So once you work your way in with the pry tool, you want to kind of twist it and work your way across, and you're going to hear it kind of click as you're removing everything. And it shouldn't take much force to get it open. And once you got it open a little bit, you can kind of get in there with your fingers a little bit and you'll hear it start removing. Once you got all those released, you can just tilt it up and remove the cover. And that's going to expose all the good stuff. Now with that removed, there's quite a bit you can do with it without having to go much further in there. And uh, what you can do is the battery, this comes in a couple of different sizes. This is the smallest one, the 41 watt hour. They've got a 66 available and that's connected right here. So to change that out, you just remove four screws and you would pull that out and you can swap that out. Um, if you're doing, working on anything else, the uh, service manual recommends pulling that out, which isn't a bad idea because that's going to make sure there's no power going through it, um, just so you're not accidentally uh, frying something with, with it being energized. Uh, your memory is right here, so if you didn't get the uh, version with 16 gigs of memory already, you can upgrade. Uh, this is DDR4 memory, and to get them out, you just these two clips on the side you pull them apart and it'll kind of spring up and you can swap it out the hard disk is right here I've already installed the uh, SSD I put a 850 Evo in there uh, there's this rubber kind of stuff that holds it in place that's wrapped around it uh, it's not screwed in at all so you can grab it on both sides of this and pull it up but just be careful because the ribbon's kind of short, so you either want to remove the ribbon um, from the board here. You can just kind of tilt that up and pull it out. Or just be real careful when you're pulling this out so you're not snagging on anything and breaking it. And then this can be pulled out from the, the SSD or the hard disk um, at that point. If you have a model that came with an SSD, that's going to be located right here. And originally I was going to buy one of those and install it here and then have my hard disk that came with this as a backup. Uh, when I got in here I found out that they didn't even bother soldering the connector to this board. So there's nothing there. So I don't even have that option. But if you have a model that came with the SSD, it's going to be right here. And you might even have an empty slot here where you could install a hard drive or a secondary SSD if you want. Just check over here and make sure that they uh, solder the connector there because if they didn't solder the connector for the SSD on this model there's a chance they may not even solder the connector for the uh, hard disk on the other model. You never know. So uh, that's all the basic stuff that you're probably going to want to to do to your laptop. So uh, it's pretty easy to get in there. The hardest part was getting that uh, rubber foot removed uh, without damaging it. So I uh, hope you found this helpful. Uh, leave a comment below if you're noticing anything different on, uh, on your model. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, uh, let me know. And uh, make sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And... Uh, Keep an eye out, I'm uh, planning to release a review of this laptop and kind of compare it to my uh, older one that this is replacing. Uh, hope you enjoy this and thanks for watching.